Hi everyone, today is your math lesson for Thursday morning and today what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to be doing some place value practice. Now I promise it's nothing tricky, you guys have been doing place value already quite a bit last week and quite a bit with me at school too. So there's two pages for you to work on and I'm going to give you an idea how to do them and then you're off on your own. Okay, so the first page what you're going to do is you're going to be drawing to represent place value. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to give you an example, but not the same one that you see in the book. So what they have in the book is they give you an umbrella. And let me angle you guys down so you can see as I'm making it. Here's my umbrella. And I'm going to put on my umbrella the number... I'm going to make a big number. I'm going to make the number 72. Now what I want to do is I want to draw raindrops falling on my umbrella to represent the number 72. And I have to use groups of tens for the tens place. And I have to use little ones by themselves, little raindrops ones by themselves for the ones place. So if I look at my umbrella, I know that here, this two, what place is that? Right, that's the ones place. And then if I look over here at my seven on my umbrella, that's in the tens place, and it's 72. Okay, so now guys, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with the ones place. I have to do two all by themselves. So here we go. One, two. Two little raindrops right by themselves. Okay? For the ones place. Now for the seven is in the tens place, so I have to do groups of tens, right? So how many groups of tens do I have to do? Seven. Seven groups of tens. So you guys can count this with me as I do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you see I just hooked them together like that? That's my first group of ten. I just put them in. You don't have to make them touching together, but as long as you hook them together in a nice line, just like what a ten stick would look like. That's one. I have to do more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I made those a little smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count how many groups of ten I have so far. So far, I'm gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30. I need to get more. Let's keep going. Another group of 10 will make it 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I've got four groups of 10. It's 40. 42. I need to go higher. Another group of 10 will make it what, guys? 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make sure. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Almost there. Another group of ten will make it what, everybody? Sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Those are pretty small. So now I'm on 60. Let's check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And here's my two, 62. I need to do another group of 10. And if I add another group of 10 on after 60, I'll be on, right, 70. Okay, help me count it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count it all together. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, 
71, 72. I have seven groups of 10, just like in the tens place. And I have two little raindrops all by themselves, just like in the ones place. Now there's a different number in your book that you're going to draw raindrops for and represent. And it doesn't have to look exactly the way I did mine, but this gives you a good idea how you're going to do it with groups of tens and ones. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing really quick before we go. And this is the second place value you have. And this one is the one you're going to be working on. And it says, decode the mystery question circle each number in the ones place circle each number in the ones place write the letter on the line that goes with each circled number so it sounds tricky but i'll explain to you what to do and don't look at this right now because that's that's for later right here they put for you letter H. So you don't have to figure that one out because they already gave it to you. Now if I go over and I look at the top, this is the D, right? And the number is 46. Well, what number is in the ones place on 46? It's not 4 because it's 40, right? That's the tens place. 46. 6 is in the ones place. So I would use my pencil and circle that 6. And then I would look down here, and here's the number 6. I found one. So what number do you think I'm going to put on? I mean, what letter should I put on top of the 6? The D. And on each one of these, I'm going to look and circle the number in the ones place. If you get mixed up, ask your parents for help. And then when you're all done, you'll be able to decode and see what's the mystery? What's the mystery question say? And they give you a place to answer the mystery question. Now over here, it says write the number. So you're gonna be counting and writing the number just for practice. And over here, it's also write the number. So, and here they give you the 10 sticks, okay? So you're gonna be doing counting and writing the number on the line, just for a little bit of extra practice, okay, everybody? So it's pretty easy today, but it is a little bit of place value practice. Only the tens and the ones place. That's all I want you guys to be working on. Have a great day. Sharpen your brains. Don't forget to use happy numbers and have a wonderful time. I'll see you guys tomorrow.